Hey, everybody, Austin at Homeowners Financial, and I just got off with a client going over some options for her for self-employment, and since the extension tax return time is just around the corner now, 915 passed, which is for entities, but 1015 is for individuals, and that is just around the corner, I thought it'd be relevant to share some information about what is typically written off on a tax return. How does it impact you? What is added back? So I'm going to share my screen with this fabulous IRS form. Boom. This is the IRS form Schedule C. This is literally irs.gov. Like you can go pull this yourself. It's public information, right? So this would be your name. Yay, name. And as we know, this would be the gross receipts. So let's just uh, throw 300000 in there to start. Now, most of this, I think, is self-explanatory, right? You know, how much does it cost that you actually bought the goods that you resold, advertising, do, 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 do. My goal of this is to show you what the things can be nuanced, shall we say, for qualifying. So if you look at car and truck expenses, fun fact, if you have business debt on your personal credit report, but it's paid by the business and it can be documented from a business checking account or savings technically, but a business account, not just a personal account with your name that you put all your money in, but a business account. And we can show that there's a 12 month history of the business paying that technically that is negated from qualifying, right? So that we're just going to remove that from the calculation. Now, a lot of times this is for car and truck expenses. So here we are in this fabulous line. There has to be something here, right? So if you are indeed having a car or truck and we're doing this nice trick of it's paid for by the business from a business account on your personal credit and we're looking to negate it, I shouldn't call it a trick, that's a guideline. So we're doing this fun guideline but there's nothing there, you have a problem. Because the whole idea is that, hey, this is money that's already taken into account on the business before you look at income, we need to not adjust it. Now it's important to look that from the very beginning, we're gonna start here. We're gonna start here on the net profit. So it's not like I make $300,000 a year. Now we're gonna start with this net number. What is that? And then from there, we're gonna add back business use of home. So this is where you have, say, a two-bedroom condo, and one bedroom is indeed for just the business. It's not a guest room. It's nothing like that. It's not the kids' room. It's just business. You write off your business expenses. Now, it's great. You can write off a lot of different things. Please talk to your tax people. But we're going to add back your home because, again, the intent is the net income from the business pays your mortgage. Well, if your house that you're buying, that mortgage, therefore, encompasses some business, we need to make sure that that's accounted for. So that is added back in. What is crazy is deductible meals and entertainment are taken away. Man, I like to capitalize two things in a row, right? So these are taken away. These are removed. So if we started at our net, and let's just say this number was $100,000, right? We're going to add back the business use of home. Let's say that's 5000 So now we're at 105000 But whoa, lo and behold, you had another $5,000 in meal entertainment. That's going to be taken back away. It's going to be taken back from offset. Other things that are added back are depletion. Now, depletion is a hard thing to explain. It's like depreciation, only different because lo and behold, they're together. But this is also going to be added back, right? So very cool if we bought that new truck and we depreciated some of it, depreciation being a paper loss that I bought it and now it's worth less, then we're gonna be adding that back in. So in my example here, let's say that this is uh, $10,000, yay, right? I'm just gonna leave one because you typically don't have both. So if we started at 100,000, we're gonna add back our 5,000 for business use of home. We're gonna take away $5,000 for deductible meals, but we're gonna add back in depletion and or depreciation. Now we're back to 110,000. So I hope this gives you a little bit of insight of what some analysis is done when you are self-employed. My name is Austin. I'm at Homeowners Financial. For other ideas for qualifying to get you into the next property, please let me know and make it a great day.